Good morning to one and all. Uh, today we have with us Akshay Satish. Akshay uh, Satish is uh, recommended uh, in his AFCA entry AFSB, and uh, he is from uh, Vaina, Kerala. And uh, this was the second attempt. In his first attempt, he was uh, screened out, and uh, this uh, he will tell you about the progress that he made from the previous attempts and all. We will discuss uh, all uh, what all is. What was his preparation strategy? What happened in the SSPs gradually? Uh, there is a unique uh, factor here. Uh, he has done his graduation in social work with specialization in rural development. We'll, we'll ask uh, things um, related to that as well. Uh, yes, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, good morning, all. Uh, so, thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak about my experience in SSB, AFSB. So uh, before going for AFSB itself, I had decided that I will enjoy this whole process this time. Because last time I was really nervous, even though I had joined NFA by that time, uh, I was really nervous. I was uh, desperate to get in. Somehow I have to screen in, I have to go through the process and all. So this time I had decided that I will enjoy this whole process. So. Uh, I booked my train. Uh, I'm from Kerala. I selected my uh, AFSB center in Guwahati so that I thought while traveling, I will get some experience. And uh, on uh, 12th, I reached, uh, on 16th, I reached Guwahati. My SSB was on 20th December. So uh, around uh, 70 to 80 students reported uh, in AFSB Guwahati on that day. And uh, the AFSB Guwahati is actually really small. Uh, they are actually, uh, they do screening process and all in airman testing center only. So uh, in PPDT, uh, I wrote a simple, really simple story of a student uh, who's curious in science and she, uh, her teachers are actually uh, motivating her to go for an exhibition and she presents her project in exhibition. The project was related to agriculture and uh, devel rural development. And uh, then she is getting prizes from that exhibition. Uh, when it comes to OER, uh, I had already practiced it for UPCAT. So it was actually easy for me. Uh, around 22 students were uh, screened in and our psychology test was conducted on the same day around in the evening evening, uh, 5.30 to 7.30. So uh, for that, I think uh, others were actually concentrating on how much to write. Like I have to complete 10 line, 12 line, but I concentrated on the theme on which I was writing. I tried to make it very simple and uh, related to my life. And uh, that uh, they gave us instruction that we don't have to clearly uh, give uh, the word. We don't have to clearly write the word also. Uh, we have a misconception that uh, we have to include the word also in the sentence. But uh, from AFSB, we got that we got instruction that we don't have to include the word. So it was much more easier uh, to write and complete that. SRT, uh, uh, I believe uh, SRT was, I, I was actually giving my natural responses in SRT. And SDT, I had already uh, made some points uh, and it helped me in writing SDT. In day two, we had our uh, GD. First, we had our GD. The first talki topic was on Northeast. Uh, the topic was that which sector to be focused uh, to develop Northeast region. First, I was scared because I was not, I, I was not having much uh, knowledge about Northeast. But I don't know, like maybe the daily reading of newspaper and all. I was automatically able to give some points and I was able to participate well in the discussion. And uh, the second topic uh, was new education policy. So as I had a social work background, we had some uh, parts where we used to focus on social work education. And I was able to, even I was uh, able to study about new education policy also through my course. So it was uh, kind of easy for me uh, to participate in group discussion. 
GP uh, with the experience I had uh, with my group, NFA group, NFA 17, I was able to uh, participate well. I was able to give plan. Uh, I was actually contributing more and I was uh, nominated by others for explaining and narrating the plan uh, to others. Even though there were uh, actually uh, disagreements, even after the presentation of GP, uh, we did not have to, the candidates did not have to deal with it. Uh, the GTO actually dealt with it. And uh, PGT, I think I could have done better because uh, I was not actually, I felt that the others were actually uh, rushing to get a solution and they were not thinking before. Uh, Utpal was also there with me. Uh, in the this process so me and utpal we were actually thinking before to like uh, do something like what plan to do like we were thinking before every action we were taking uh, pgt i think i could have done better uh, and hgt uh, i was our group was able to do really well we were able to come with solution uh, very soon and he asked us for alternate solutions also on the same day we had our lecture uh, I spoke on mass media. I think I, I think I could have uh, improved uh, by participating more in NFA group. I was not able to do uh, well in lecture eight. Day three, we had our uh, command task, and I was called in the end. Uh, it was kind of a tough task which was given to me, but uh, we were able to come with a solution very uh, easily. IO, I was I was not having any idea about uh, IO and individual obstacles, uh, especially uh, the books or blogs, they talk about SSB individual obstacles and they don't talk much about AFSB individual obstacles. And, uh, but I was able to complete uh, six out of them. I think I could have done better. And in, I had some injuries also uh, in IO. After that, we had our full group task uh, final group task. It was actually fun. Uh, all of us participated well. Even though many of us had injuries, we were all actually thinking and we were doing uh, at the same time and we were able to do it well. On uh, fourth day, I had my interview. My interview with was with the board president. Uh, I would like to call it more as a conversation than interview because it went really well. Uh, he actually started with uh, my hobbies. So uh, he, he asked me what I was doing uh, while I was staying in the AFSB. So actually I was uh, reading the books provided by the AFSB. That actually helped me a lot. I was able to, uh, the book was uh, My Life in IAF by C. Pal, former uh, Air Chief Marshal. So uh, I was able to talk uh, a lot about that book. And he was actually impressed by that. He asked me about other books which I have read and I was able to explain it also. He was a movie enthusiast. So he asked me about uh, Malayalam movies also. I was also able to talk about that also. And uh, more, the interview was more concentrated about my personal life. And uh, somewhere he asked me about uh, current affairs also. I was able to answer it well. But even the current affairs was also uh, in a way related to my life. And uh, in conference, uh, they asked me whether I had attended some uh, academy coaching or something. So I told them that I am a part of Northfields Academy. Then they asked me about Northfields Academy and I told them that it is more of uh, a personality development program than uh, an SSB coaching. So that was my uh, SSB experience. Oh, that's, that's great. And uh, it, was, it was enlightening. Uh, and some of the points that I wish to wish you to elaborate on, uh, how important it is to write simple stories and stories that come uh, in your mind first thing that strikes your mind instead of making up stories. So how, how do you deal uh, with uh, those questions? It means these are asked by students, even including students in, on social media. What should be the logical uh, explanation of, of a particular picture that is given? I believe that we all have a tendency to write movie stories. <laughs> like we all uh, become a great novelist or write and like we try to become a kind of novelist and we start write, uh, we start writing like with twists and turns. I think it is not required. It's a simple process. Like 
where you have to like write what comes to your mind first like what the picture uh, like picture is really easy if you you have a lot of options to write you just think edit in your mind and give a really simple story i think that's really important like even in our life also our life is not like a movie many twists and turns never happens it is simple like even our story should be also simple like our life okay thank you so much uh the sir had also pointed out regarding scarcity mentality abundance mentality and you face such a situation when everybody was rushing to find out solution but you or your friend you were, were remaining calm during not just gp but also full group task half group task so how it how important it is to be calm and think about the task i think uh, a proactive person should always think before they act because in reactions we might fail we have to think like we have to cross the obstacles so we have to plan before that after crossing one obstacle how we are going to cross the other one also so uh, i think it is really important to think before we act and it actually helped me but uh, gto was calling me in between and asking me like chess number 3 what are you doing you are not actually participating you are telling some ideas do it so he was pushing me uh, always uh, to do i told him clearly when he told me uh, that akshay do something like chess number 3 do something i told him sir, uh, like sir i am thinking uh, like before doing something so he was actually happy with that uh, when i told him and uh, tell us about uh, the uh, gd topics that you uh, that you discussed and uh, uh, the especially people will find it difficult to uh, face uh some uh, uh, some topics that that uh, for which points are not uh, uh, there much points are not there for example northeast after let's say 5 to 10 minutes of gd discussion 5 uh, to let's say 7 minutes the gd might fall short of points new points so how did you tackle that situation because it's not a uh, border issues like india pakistan where you will have a number of points northeast is completely different so how did you face that gd and how was that experience actually i was lucky that i got a topic which is related to development of an area actually i was trying to start a social entrepreneurship opportunity in my area where i focused on tribal groups and tourism development i believe like uh, the same thing is applicable in northeast also as far as i have read so i was uh, having a idea of what development should be and how development should be and how indigenous knowledge and indigenous like the culture should be given importance when it comes to uh, development so i was able to give uh, i was able to get ample points and more it was a general uh, we were not completely focusing on northeast northeast even though we consider it as an like there are actually tribal groups so i was able to contribute more on that yeah uh, so uh, this comes also, to also one more thing one okay. more thing even before the uh, ssb i think that time sir had written about the nagaland issues in instagram so that also helped me in uh, giving points yes uh, this comes to your rural development part of it and uh, how how did the motivation come to people go for engineering law medical these kind of professional source, uh, uh, courses you went for rural development and uh, social work uh, your background uh, of education background how did it help you and all so actually uh, in 12th i had science i studied uh, from jawan navodaya vidyalaya so i was school captain there and uh, some uh, certain situations uh, while i was uh, the school captain uh, certain situation of the students actually led me to rethink that what i should do whether i should uh, go for this conventional engineering medical branch or whether i should think differently and do something i was actually into uh, services like i wanted to serve uh, i so that's why i chose defense also i uh, to uh, like from 6 to 12 government have provided me education so there should be a proper way in which i should revert back and i should serve the nation so that was the motivation for me to take tata institute of social sciences and a social work course in that and rural development i took because uh, i belong to vayanad which is uh, which is a tribal district 
and we don't have even have a railway station here we don't have proper connectivity here so i thought it is important that if i study this particular subject and if i study rural development i will be able to contribute uh, to my area's development yeah that's it. that's a unique kind of thinking and that to at a very uh, younger age uh, when people do not know what to do in life we decided to go uh, to services thank you and uh, you pointed about uh, you pointed out uh, about injuries that you faced in individual task uh, tell us about that how did you back up and uh, how to avoid injuries and regarding injuries in gto task if people get bogged down because of it i believe uh, that in afsb especially in uh, individual obstacles i uh, i have to improve on my upper body strength uh, i was lagging uh, in my upper body strength so i had i did not know how to monkey crawl actually so i was dragging my leg when i was uh, doing it so that actually uh, i got bruise on my leg because of that but during io we won't uh, actually get to know that something has happened we will be in that flow and we will be in that rush so uh, it was even after my ssb also till uh, i had my uh, cps uh, in dehradun so i had to uh, go to delhi and from there i had to go to dehradun so i was not able to come back to kerala so that bruise was there it was getting septic so uh, it was getting more and like after coming back to kerala only now it's healed uh, nehru sir will be in a better position to tell what is it all about i just uh, wanted to know okay uh, then there is uh, there are people who face uh, uh, some kind of doubts oh i am going to face a president of the board scary the most senior most person in the board so uh, how how do you uh, what do you want to tell them are the presidents uh, scary enough or it's it's okay you know if you face president of the board in your uh, interviews i believe that it all uh, like it was i was a lucky that i got president uh, because he was actually using all the interview techniques to assess me and i was also really honest and i think that i made it easy for him to assess me i think that's the most important part be honest like be make it easy for them to assess you if you are good enough they will select you there is no doubt so you don't have to be scared, like scared that who is going to take your interview thank you one more thing uh, you uh, not just pointed out uh, uh, appointed regarding uh, daily newspaper reading you had other uh, books that, that you refer my life in uh, iif by written by some uh, air, air chief marshal and all uh, tell us something more about your reading habits and for aspirants as well what should be read to increase the knowledge base uh, so actually i was i never used to read a lot uh, after getting into this ssb preparation only i started reading first i started reading with uh, motivational books then i understood that every person talks about a different different uh, perspective of personality development then i uh, actually sir's book is the best book for uh, such kind of reading it is crisp and it is really uh, it's the contents are really good uh, it actually helped me a lot and uh, some of my friends had gifted me uh, books uh, the brave and uh, some stephen hawking's books and other books uh, the prophet by galil gibran all those books i started reading and uh, it was really fun uh, reading it. some books uh, like actually we will be able to relate it with our life and that makes it more interesting in starting we won't be able to read a complete book but gradually we would be able to develop that habit still i am a slow reader reader but i try to read and complete books which i get pointing out regarding uh, the practical guide to become an officer it's a very good book for the people who have soft copies uh, are admitted students please go through it uh, hard copies will reach you and for those on social media uh, please go through the book at least uh, once uh, okay uh, re- regarding the nfa 17 sessions uh, please uh, tell us how did that help you actually i did not uh, participate i believe that i did not participate well uh, in those group sessions because uh, i in starting i felt that it is more time consuming and i was not able to manage time but later i was able to cope up with my time because i planned it well and i was able to uh, participate 
but i feel that uh, like they have helped me a lot like whenever i used to do uh, some sessions for last for like for last one month i haven't participated in any sessions of uh, the group because uh, i was actually roaming around uh, from delhi to dehradun as i was uh, roaming around but uh, it actually helped me a lot uh, yugul uh, and harsh bhai uh, all these people had helped me a lot in assessing uh, like my place where i am standing yes thank you thank you for pointing out that even if you participate irregularly it's okay but i do participate in nfa sessions and you can put your video on as well so that your body language is also seen you do not need to always keep yourself with video off you can uh, you can uh, sit with formals and uh, discuss and you can plan that way and you can plan the topics as well which which are the current topics if he has pointed out regarding north east what are the current topics that can be asked in gd so all these sessions are important for group dynamics uh, now i am uh, done and uh, i'll give this to kanan nehru congratulations akshay well done thank you sir you have done uh, your parents your school the institute where you studied your rural development all of them proud the what stands out in your case uh, i am really not going to ask you any questions uh, it is just for the benefit of others who have been listening to you the akshay is a simple nice guy he is a well meaning person he doesn't have much knowledge about ssp nor has he prepared very much uh, he could have prepared himself better physically he could have prepared himself better general knowledge wise and all that those are actually uh, issues which are not having very deep significance the significant part is that as you would have heard him he's a nice well meaning guy who's pretty clean transparent and these were the things which got him selected because the assessors would have assessed like i'm hearing him now that he's a nice guy he can be trained yeah to become an officer छोटा मोटा चीज नहीं पता है फिजिकली नॉट दैट फिट ओके कैन बिकम फिटर नॉट हैविंग वेरी गुड नॉलेज अबाउट नॉर्थ ईस्ट कोई बात नहीं है नोज अबाउट केरला बिकॉज इन ड्यू कोर्स पिका सो दीज आर द थिंग्स सो वी कम बैक टू द इम्पॉर्टेंट इशू दैट वॉट यू आर इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट राधर देन what you are trying to project when you get focused on projection business actually it is taking away from your genuine personality and it's it going to uh, adversely impact your performance so that's one thing now coming on to some issues like uh, you know uh, he told about the psychology responses about writing stories simple story yes absolutely fine uh the point he made that the first idea that's not a great idea to go by you should go by what is logically the best thing you know a first idea may not be that good the second idea may be little better so go on that because rationally what is the best thing that's what uh, we should try and do and not just in stories in life so that kind of approach should be there Uh, as far as the story writing is concerned the simple part and all that is i totally endorse that now coming on to the uh, one interesting point he brought out about the wat now this uh, you know the instructions given to them were quite similar to the idea of this test which uh, was actually to be adopted in this you know de novo selection system which i had been observing because i was in the bangalore ssb and uh, the idea of the de novo system started from there actually you know this uh, world association uh, free association we call it uh, this uh, you know test is uh, like uh, there was nothing in writing when uh, a person was uh, administering this test the psychologist he would just show a picture of a rose or a word would be you know uh flash and then the person was supposed to speak out what idea comes to uh, his or her mind as soon as you see that word you know so that was the concept of this free association so uh, in 
uh, the SSB, uh, the psychologists have told them to do that. So uh, they have trying to somehow come closer to the DNO system. That may uh, uh, start happening more because I am not in touch with the selection system now. Uh, however, uh, you know, as such, the point still remains, you know, from the uh, past knowledge is that you use the word in the sentence. Uh, unless instructions like which were given to Akshay are given. You know, that is about this test. Uh, I have uh, I, nothing to ask except that I am very happy. He has he's done well. And the uh, only thing I would like to tell you is, uh, Akshay, is that please continue uh, uh, remaining at the core, remaining the same person that you are, a well-meaning person who is genuinely interested in serving the society. All societies need people like you. And uh, of course, keep improving uh, consistently. You've got a long way to go. Fine. Now you're open to questions from others. Too. Please. Yeah, I have a question, sir. Uh, fine, go ahead. Yeah. So, Akshay, uh, since your first experience, yeah, I heard that you got screened out in your first SSB and in the second attempt you got screened in. So how was the approach different from the first screening to the next one? And how did you perform in your narration? NGD uh, this time. Actually, last time I don't know what happened with me. Uh, I and Abhay Singh, we attended the same SSB in September 13th. And after our first screening process, we both were uh, really confident that we both will get selected because even after discussions, I was able to participate in discussion really well. But I don't know, my story was having a lot of twists and turns. And I was actually, I actually got into become a movie director or a script writer. I made a lot of twists and turns in my story. Maybe that would have been the factor. So this time I tried, like, like uh, as Sir said, it was it is not just first idea what i used to do is that uh, when i get an idea i used to think about it and i used to edit that story in my mind and then write it uh, so that it will be the best version of the story so that's what i did this time uh, i gave enough time to think and uh, write yeah it will actually make your uh, narration also easy you don't have to narrate a lot also you can narrate, it can be crisp, and you can tell it in a short way, but you have to convey the story properly. Yes. Okay, I got you. Yeah, okay. the important part here is to see what is happening with the most large number of uh, aspirants is that they are scared once they start this you know, picture is shown. They feel that there is time pressure. Yeah, 100 meter race hai, kain, kain bullet fire ho jayegi, aur main start nahi kar So they are panicking even before the thing starts. So this mental state what happens is, and a lot of people have told them that idea so these kind of things are a big problem. With this mindset what happens so you straight away start writing. And when you start writing, at times what happens is you think, oh, this idea was not that good. Now you have already written 30%. Now what do you do? So like the Akshay has brought out very nicely, don't panic. Observe the picture deliberately. See whatever is shown there. There is no uh, problem. Think deliberately. Take your time in thinking. Don't start editing in thinking. Edit in the written version. Write a short story. Write in three minutes itself. That is good enough. It should be a crisp, clear-cut story around one main character who resolves the main issue which is there in the picture. That's it. So that kind of uh, thought process is the right approach and that is what helped him get in, you know. Uh, this panicky state and all that. And I'm sure Akshay Utpal would have seen what would have been happening to other guys, you know. They would be in a panic mode, not right? trying to write very quickly and fast. Fine, Sai, you got the point? Yes, sir. I got the point. Yeah. So adding to this question, I uh, have one more doubt. Go ahead, uh, go ahead. Yeah, especially in uh, screening process, uh, in the GD, if a person like uh, the kind of person which I am, like I am a kind of, I uh, am uh, silent and I am shy. So there are times when in GD, uh, when I am trying to portray a point, I am not getting the chance at those points. So how to deal with that situation? 
and when you are not able to give your point or others are uh, subduing you in the process so yeah the thing is sai have you watched our video about the screening process yes sir i have uh, watched the video in the youtube yeah that youtube one you watched you tell me which contingency is there which we have not touched upon yeah uh, most of the answers which uh, regarding this was uh, being told in that video yes okay still this point is relevant uh, not just for you it is relevant for others also and for quite a few of our old students uh, the reason is that uh, of late i have observed quite a few students who should have got screened and have got screened and there are few reasons for it uh i will go over them one by one one is that uh, some of you have uh, not watched this video well enough and registered it well enough so what you can do is is just some 17 18 minute thing just before you are going for ssb please see it. let it sink in your mind that's one thing you can easily do uh second thing is you know uh Uh, what happens is we should be very clear about this uh, concept of assertiveness assertiveness uh, i have explained in the book it is not uh, imposing yourself but being fair to others but demanding fairness to yourself so if you started speaking and then somebody interrupts you then you should say that i am still speaking you don't have to be impolite that is one and here what is going to happen like uh, he was this was still a fresher's batch when you have repeaters batches then there will be lot of shouting going on uh, afsb the number of uh, candidates in a group is still manageable i think you would have been about 15 or so akshay Sir, it was twelve. Uh, twelve, huh? So twelve, fifteen is a very manageable figure. But when you go for entries like NCC, SSC, Tech, then you would be in groups of around twenty. So that would be, uh, you know, when it is split into half, then also it is a pretty large subgroup. So here, what will happen is that people will be shouting, and someone like Sai, your nature is. Uh, then what will happen that you will be uh, tending to be a little laid back no then that will get you screened out you can't afford to do that you have to be assertive why because time is limited so in such a situation sai as i have given in the video very clearly you have to raise your voice slightly and say that gentlemen let us not shout let us try to make a common story and if there is a slight pause when you get it then you say since two three of of us are speaking on this theme then i feel that we can uh, make the common story on this theme so you have initiated the idea and thereafter it's all given in the video that when people are trying to go astray you guide them back towards the making of the common story Uh, and uh, you know unnecessary time it is on age mood and all that should be uh, restricted but those things are not very important so are you getting my point sai and as also others and do take part in this ppdt session of uh, the uh, nfa group there also adopt the methodology which has been explained so that is going to come in handy because what will happen you know uh, if you are trying to scratch your brain to think of what was given in the video then you have a problem you can't be doing that you should be clear that this is what i have to do and once you practice this in our group and you get excellent opportunity because our standard of our group is very good uh, your counterparts peers are very good and knowledgeable the stand Standard of uh, no fields academy students is much higher than what you get actually in the SSB. So make use of that this practice benefit and utilize the things and things should work out. Because I feel bad, you know, because when you get screened out, you lost about three months. Sir, you'll be going again after you know three months. Why lose that opportunity? 
Like Akshay lost uh, how much time you lost uh, after getting screened out? So three to four months, sir. A uh, three to four months just by a small this thing, you know? Yes, sir. That's not worth it. Yes, sir. It's worthwhile seeing that 20, 15, 18, 19 minute video two, three times <laughs> rather than. Sir, actually, this I had actually, uh, that's what I used to do. Like, uh, this time, what I did was that without coming uh, with doubts to you, I was actually reading from the books because all the answers are there. And uh, even videos also. I watched all the almost all the videos and I read the book. It actually helped me a lot. And this uh, guiding the group actually helped me in GP. That's I believe that's that was the main part. I was able to lead the group. I was able to guide the group. Yes, sir. Yes, definitely. Because what happens, a lay person who, you know, suddenly he's struck by, you know, group of 10 students and five, six problems are there. Somebody's head has got busted, some fish plate has got removed, and somebody's saying, my cattle has run away, and all that stuff. You get confused by so much of information. But once you've done it, you know it's not a big deal. You just have to prioritize the thing and you have to make a plan. Yes, sir. Well, so, Having practice, this thing is definitely helpful. Apart yes. from, you know, even if a person is fresh, it it makes you a little calmer because you've seen it earlier. Yes, sir. And you made a sensible plan. Sir, actually, this helped me in my life also now. Like, because uh, after SSB, uh, I was coming back, I lost my bag and I had all the certificates in it. At that time, I was in actually in SRT situation. What should I do? <laughs> Correct, absolutely. So once again, these things are about life. Yes, sir. It's not just SSB. Yes, and sir. SSB is a sample of your life. What comes out there? Yes, sir. So that's what in Gofils Academy we are always trying to say that be you know competent in your routine life, then that competence will get revealed in the SSB. Yes, sir. Sure, sir. I'll keep this in my mind. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Akshay. Okay Great. then. Thanks a lot. Take care. God bless. Bye bye. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, sir. Bye, bye, Akshay. Thanks. God bless.